Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. And I'll try to speak in English because my English is not so good. And every year it became worse because I don't speak English and Portuguese, not even in Israel. And it's only when I can. And as I became old, I forget the words. Okay? I'll try to. We'll have mercy on you, don't worry. So. This Shabbat is called Shabbat Shira. Shabbat Shira. You know what does it mean, Shabbat Shira? Shabbat Shira. You know what it means? No. Shabbat Shira. It's the Shabbat of the song. Shira is a song. Because of the song that Moses came and sang with Israel. Nikamu Havael and Madonai. Who is like you, Lord? So, this parasha starts in Exodus chapter 13, verse 17. Can you read, please? And after Pharaoh had let the people go, God did not lead them along the road to the land of the Philistines, though that was Nebai, for God said, the people might change their minds if they see war and return to Egypt. Okay, that's it. Why God did not lead them along the road? Because it's near. God is near. Why? Because they could be afraid. So God knows that we have sometimes to feel afraid of anything. But in different situations. And sometimes when we feel this, uh, we have bad decisions and decide to return. Mm. So, when you live Brazil, for example, came into the United States, during the flight, we feel afraid. Mm. So there's no way to return. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop the bus, and, and, uh, stop the plane. It's impossible. So you have to to decide to keep away, yes. go, go, yeah. and you may not, you have not the opportunity to return. Right. Here, people of Israel have the opportunity to return, mm -hmm. and if we can see during this parsha that people of Israel talking to Moses, mm -hmm. it would be better if you die in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So, why you ask? for a savior. Yeah. When, when we want to, to, to go to God's presence, seeking for deliverance of our sins, we are praying for Yeshua, sometimes people understand that it, it will be easier for us. No, it became worse. Before you enter to the promised land, your situation will become worse. So, that's why God did not lead them in the beginning, in the beginning. But, just in the next chapter, chapter 14, uh, verse, verse 12, until 15. People said to Moses, verse 13, don't be afraid. Oh, Moses said to the people, don't be afraid. Stand still. But, in verse 12, let us alone. So they have, no, we have the, the sea in front of us. Egypt behind us. So what we can do? nothing. But why God put his people in this situation? Ah. To depend on him. To depend on him. No, not only to depend on him. To trust. To trust in him. And but he shown his power before this. During the 10th place. So 
Why God put the people in this situation now? To trust in themselves. Not only in God. We trust in God. But in some situation, we get afraid. We are afraid. And he says, ah, I don't trust. Yeshua says, if you have faith in the size of mustard seeds. You know the size? It's like this. People say, I trust in God, but in fact, they don't trust in God. People say, I trust in myself, but in fact, they don't trust in themselves. So, God put this Israel in this situation to show that it's possible, anything is possible to those who believe. Yes. Amen. Amen. And then Moses said, don't be afraid. Do you believe that God, Moses was afraid? Just in the beginning, when God says to Moses, you will deliver my people, mm -hmm. Moses says, no, because why? <laughs> he was afraid. He was afraid. He was afraid. Yes. But why here Moses was not afraid? <laughs> because he learned. <laughs> he learned. We need to learn to trust in ourselves, in Yeshua, and in God. Because if you say, I have Yeshua in my heart, it's different than I trust in Yeshua in my heart. Yes. I trust in all situations. Yes. Wherever you go, we have different uh, feelings, different uh, kinds of afraid, different situations. Um, last Shabbat in Curitiba, I, I spoke about David in 1 Samuel. Chapter 17, Israel was against the Philistines. Hold it up. Philistines. Do you want to go to it? No. It's the same. The same on the first verse of this parasha. Chapter 13, verse 17. Philistines. The same. Mm -hmm. People would be afraid, so God did not lead them along the road to the land of Philistines. Okay? Mm -hmm. When David came to the Philistines, Israel was afraid of him mm -hmm. to fight against them. Okay. Because they, they have giant. one giant. Mm -hmm. So all the Israeli soldiers was afraid. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't have Jadiel, huh? <laughs> <laughs> if Jadiel fights against Goliath, Goliath said, Goliath would be afraid. <laughs> but, in this parasha, we saw people afraid. Many and many years later, Israel was still was afraid. Against the same Philistines. So, it takes time to set free from your afraid. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 It takes time. But God wants all of us to go against our fear. Yes. Fear? Fear. When we are when we were kids, we had a lot of afraid. Yes. <laughs> and and then when we grow up, God expects us to set us free about these feelings. Because when Israel left Egypt, they had to wait 40 years, 40 years, to go to the promised land. And we are now waiting for the promised land, still waiting. But those who left Egypt, only two men enters into the promised land. Yes. Yehoshua and Caleb. But why this this 
Shabbat is called Shabbat Shira. Because in Revelation says the same. They will sing a, a new song. Yes. Moses. Huh? Yes. We are still waiting for the time when Moses come, return to life, and sing with us the music of salvation. But we need to be free. We need to be free. We don't have to be afraid about other people. Song of Moses to the Lamb. This is the song. This will be the Shabbat Shirah for all of us. Amen. If we believe. If we trust in the Savior. If we trust in God. And if we trust in ourselves. If we trust that we can be delivered. God can set us free from, from our bad feelings because we are not child anymore. We are not like my son, like Israel. Uh, and we became older. We need to become stronger, not only physically, but in our minds. What happens today is, especially in Brazil, a lot of people, almost everybody, when we go through the streets, we become afraid. You see, this guy on the street, I'm afraid of him. I'm afraid of this. When I drive my car, I'm afraid to stop in the semaphore. I'm afraid of everything. In the United States, it's the same. People get afraid of different situations, but everything. When you lost your job, and you don't have money, oh, I'm afraid, how do I support and sustain my family? Don't you trust in God? We need to trust in Hashem. Yes. We need to trust in God. God can change the situations, the worst situation in a good situation. Yes. Amen. If we go to chapter 14, Exodus chapter 14, Verse 20, I don't know if it, in English uh, it's the same words, but verse 20, uh, there was the cloud and the darkness over here, and yet gave light by night over there. But the same cloud brings Light, light for Israel. The same cloud brings darkness. Hey, we need to see the light. We need to see the light. In Psalms, chapter one nineteen, it says, "Your word is like a lamp." So we need to find salvation in the word of God. We need to find. Uh, strength yes. in the Bible yes. because everybody including us have fears yes. but there is a difference the difference is for Egypt darkness for us light yes. Yes. that's what that's what uh, God wants for us that's why God, that's because God puts Israel in front of the sea and Egypt, kind of. You got to go against your fears. Yeah. And you become stronger. Yes. Nobody became strong without fight. That's right. yeah. Without prepare. Yes. yes. We need to prepare ourselves be stronger Amen. because when I see my kids he has 12 Israel 13 12 same same I forgot because it's different size thanking them so I forget Okay. Okay. When we look for them, 
Israel and are of the same size, the same age, different size, the same age. What would would be with them if I died and Sion died? He said, Whoa. No, what are we do? Start to work. A lot of family, a lot of families in Brazil, here also, uh, parents die in a disaster or something, or disease, and then the kids, this size, start to work. Because if you don't go against your peers, you will die. So, are they strong? Yes, but they don't know until they face the fears. We need to face our fears to become stronger. It's not easy to be here in front of you talking in English. <laughs> it's not easy. Even in Portuguese, it's not easy to be in front of our people at the synagogue. Moses was afraid. Even years after they left the Egypt, Moses says, what I did for you? We have uh, three men against Moses, Korah, 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 Korah. They were leaders also. Mm -hmm. Moses puts the leadership in, in their hands. Yeah. But what if Moses died in that time? They will not support to be in front of the people. Because it's easy when you look at Sion, when you look at me preaching, my father and preachers. When you are at the bench, you say, oh, it's easy, I can do it. But when I put you here, there's no words. No? But this is the first time. Later, second, the third, the fourth. It will become easier, easier. When you sing, when you play the instruments. So, we need to grow in God's presence. Amen. You cannot depend on Sion's. You cannot depend on me. Depend. We need to depend on ourselves. Learning to depend on God's presence. Read in the Bible. In the Bible will be the light for us. Those who have fears to face um, a rabbi, a pastor, or anywhere to talk about the Torah, it's just because we are not reading the Bible enough. We need to read more. Every time, every year, we have the Congress in Brazil, and we have a problem during the Congress or, be or before the Congress. Who will preach? Who is going to be the preacher? So this time, when Sion says, oh, I'm going to Brazil, said, oh, <laughs> I have a preacher here. Because the leaders in Brazil, they're, um, it's easier for them to stay, sit, to look and see on other guys playing. Preaching, right? preaching. Because it's easy for you to stay where you are. But you need to stand up and face the sea. When Moses said, uh, let's go to verse. I said to Moses, why are you crying to me? Sometimes God doesn't want you crying. Tell the Israel to go forward. When you are a kid, when you are a ch child, this, you used to say child. Mm -hmm. It's okay. When you have 20 years, it's not okay to, to do like a kid. Yes. You, you need to become a man. That's right. And 
God says to Israel, why are you crying to me? Go for it. But how can we go if we have the sea in front of us? That's the difference. Uh, verse 16 Lift up your staff When you see the beginning of the story of Moses God says to, to Moses What do you have in your hands? The staff Is this Which Moses will use to open the sea God wants to use what do you have, what you have in your hands. Amen. Amen. Some people have a staff, some mm -hmm. people have whatever, different mm -hmm. But God wants to use you. Uh, if we think, when Moses used, used his staff mm -hmm. to open the sea, who was the first one to enter into the, to the sea? The Bible doesn't say. Who wasn't the first one? But you need to have a lot of courage to be the first one. Yes. Huh? In Brazil, people get afraid to, to go in front of the cemetery after midnight. Oh. After midnight. Are you afraid? Now, if Jade will go first, <laughs> we always need to have someone to, to go in front of us. And that's the problem. Moses had this stuff, but God wants to use your stuff. And you need to face your fears. We need to face. We need to, to read the Bible. Because the Bible will be the light, even in a cloudy day, even in darkness, God will show us what to do and how to do. If we face the Bible, read what happens. Returning to the first verse, the Philistines, God says, they will be afraid. And many, many years later, Israel was still afraid. And David, what David uses to face Goliath? Slingshots. Slingshots. In his hand. In his hand. Or a staff of Moses. The same. The slingshot, the staff, the sandals, whatever. What you have, God will use. But you need to trust. Trust in yourself. I have only my cell phone. When Siam says to me, you will preach in Orlando? He says, okay. In Portuguese, yes, okay. There, there will be someone to translate for you. <laughs> I trust him. <laughs> That's the problem. The Bible says, don't trust in a man. <laughs> I will do the same in Brazil next time. <laughs> I will do the same. So, Portuguese. <laughs> I can preach in Portuguese. It will be better. But face your fears. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Face your fears. Because I could say, see ya. I don't speak English, yes. and I can face my fears and try. Yes. And try. Yeah. Are you understanding? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Need to try. Yes. <laughs> Wherever the situation situation will be, and it will become worse every time, because you got to be stronger. Yes. Every every time will be worse. When I came to the United States the first time, my father came with me, we went to New York, and I was young, 
and my father said, I, I, I decided to rent a car in, in New York. My father said, no, it's dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. You don't know how to drive. <laughs> so I respected him, and then he said, no. But the second time, when I came to Miami for the first time, um, Sion, Sion was at the hotel, mm -hmm. and we arrived at Miami airport, and Sion was in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. And I rented the car, and without the GPS, I drove. Mm -hmm. Because I saw the map in my mind, and, and start to draw. And after midnight, I was, I was lost. I get lost. And I saw the police car. My father says, What are you doing? I'm going to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> he will not put me in the jail because I'm lost. And I said, oh, I need to, to find this hotel. He said, This is straight to the, to the right. It will be here. Okay. okay. So my father was with 65, 70 years. He, he get afraid to drive here. But now he has his own car here. Yeah. 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 And I came from Brazil. He said, "Why don't you have a car?" I don't know how to how to buy a car. <laughs> Sion lives here. <laughs> I don't ask him. He said, "Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I have money now." <laughs> he was afraid to ask. What's the price of this car? I want to buy. What do I need to do? And then I came without speaking English, <laughs> he went to Kia, no, before Kia, oh, Honda, Kia, yeah, yeah, yeah. different dealers. dealers, and my father decided for his Kia, mm -hmm. and during the test drive, he said, you drive, I said, but the car is for you, <laughs> <laughs> so see, it's so easy. Yeah. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. It's very easy for for me. Now I can drive anywhere. Mm -hmm. We can use Google. It said how to go from here to there. Google will show the way. Mm -hmm. Why to be afraid? Mm -hmm. So after you do, after you cross the river, mm -hmm. cross the river. Yeah. Said in Brazil. Yeah. After you cross the ocean, mm -hmm. and you look back, yeah. you see that it's easy. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's easy. Amen. But here, 4,000 years later, we look at <coughs> this history and say, well, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. But if God puts you in front of the sea, you need to cross the sea. Yes. 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 Be free. And this is the song. This is why Shabbat Shirai is so important. Because we will only sing the song with Moses if after crossing the sea. And may God make us stronger. And may you learn how to be strong. Because God cannot make you strong if you don't want to be strong. That's right. Amen. And we need to learn. And my kids, Abel is learning English, but he's still afraid to talk in English. <laughs> I know some words. Yeah. But if you don't try to speak and to hear and to learn, we need to learn the first words and then increasing every time and then you will be able to speak in English, Portuguese, Hebrew, wherever the language. But you need to cross the sea, to cross the, the river and face the Philistine. Yeah. Yeah.
Upon you and give 